so ready, mark, set, go. <laughs> All right, so let's go over this here. Um, this is going to be our ascending pathway first. Make sure I spell this right. I think that's right. Ascending tracts, or ascending pathways. So which direction is this going to be going? Or well, let me ask you a different way. What type of information is this going to be? This is going to be... Sensory. Close, it's sensory, right? It's going to be sensory information, so we're going to be information going in to the spinal cord and then up to the brain. That's what we're going to go over. And this is the entire pathway. So it's really, we're going to call it ascending pathway, but really what this is, is this is going to be really the entire sensory pathway. So it's going to be, you know, some of it's going to be ascending as we go up the spinal cord. So this is the way we're going to ride it. We've got three neurons that basically control this pathway. It's going to be called first order, okay, second order, and then third order neurons, okay. So these are our neurons, okay. So our first order neuron is going to, we're going to give you basically the origin and the destination of each neuron. Okay, so the first order neuron is going to go from a receptor, and we're going to draw this out and that'll help too, from a receptor to the spinal cord. We're going to be real specific, okay, and it's going to basically have a synapse here in the spinal cord, but we're going to be really specific. Where in the spinal cord, we could draw this maybe right here, where in the spinal cord is this going to have to synapse? If you think about it, this is sensory information. Where in the spinal cord is this going to have to synapse? Think about it as information going in. You tell me, where specifically inside the spinal cord is that going to have, have to happen? You know, you can maybe tell me first, is it gray or white matter? It's going to be, it's going to be gray, actually. Why is it going to be gray? Because that's where we said synapses are, right? So where in the gray is it going to have to be? Correct. It's going to be posterior horn, right? So that's what we're going to say. We're going to say posterior horn because that, that is it, right? That's actually where it's going in the spinal cord to the posterior horn. Then we're going to say that that's a synapse point, right? Then we're going to say the second order takes over. Second order neuron takes over. So it's going to go from the posterior horn, right, which we should know is obviously inside the spinal cord. So from the posterior horn, right, this is my posterior side I'm drawing, this is anterior, it's going to go to another area called the thalamus, and this is an area inside the brain. This particular neuron is going to decussate as well, which means it's going to cross to the other side. We had said that before. And then from the thalamus, our third order is going to take over and it's going to go to the cerebral cortex, okay, which is still brain. It's the outer, you know, part of the brain, right, the cortex. And we're going to be really specific too and talk about this more tomorrow, but what area of the cortex is this going to be? This is going to be our post-central gyrus, and that's considered our primary sensory cortex, okay? So while we're kind of taking all that in, we're going to draw it, okay? We draw the brain here, brain, spinal cord, and then pick a sensory spot to start. If you think about it, this is what this is going to be. It's going to be our first order neuron, we're going to pick a receptor. It's going to go from it's going to go from a receptor into the spinal cord. And we can just picture that that point in the spinal cord where it synapses is going to be the posterior horn. Okay? So that's the pathway, the start and the finish if you want to think about it that way for the first order neuron from a receptor into the spinal cord. Then the second order takes over. It's going to go, the second order is going to start from the posterior horn. 
it's going to run all the way up to the thalamus. Okay, so we'll call this second order. And as it goes up the spinal cord, we're going to decussate, right? It, it crosses to the other side. That's the best decussation I can draw. So this little area right in the center of the brain is referred to as the thalamus. Then from the thalamus, we're going to get our third order neuron, which is going to go to the postcentral gyrus, okay? Which is our primary sensory cortex, which basically means everything sensory that's somatic, okay? Which is, you know, bone, muscle, joint, skin, that sort of thing, right? Everything somatic that sensory is going to go to this postcentral gyrus. So we just traced the entire sensory pathway, okay? I know that's, I don't know, that's quite a bit. Is that a lot? No, not too bad. So that's the entire sensory pathway, but we can't stop there, so we gotta keep going for a minute. We gotta do motor real fast. Is y'all good real quick with doing motor? So real quick, we're gonna do motor. I'm gonna leave this, and we, we can kind of review all this, but let's go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and I won't erase it. What I'll do is I'll put my motor pathway, which is shorter, which is good. Our motor pathway we'll do in blue. So that's going to be referred to as the descending tracks, right? We're going to start with a different name. These are called upper motor neurons and lower motor neurons, okay? A lot of times just abbreviated UMN and LMN, <laughs> okay? For upper motor neurons and lower motor neurons. Upper motor neurons are entirely CNS, so I'll just put it over here. They're entirely in your central nervous system. Lower motor neurons are entirely in the peripheral nervous system. So one thing you think about when you think about upper motor neurons, your brain should think, uh, CNS. When you think lower motor neuron, you should think PNS automatically. Okay? Where do the upper motor neurons go? So the upper motor neurons, just kind of underline them here. Upper motor neurons are going to go from, think about it too. We're motor now, so we're going down. So we're going to start literally from the, the opposite uh, starting point of the sensory. We're going to start from Basically, in a sense, it's like we're going backwards now. So upper motor neurons are going to go from the cerebral cortex. Okay, and we're going to be specific. What area of the cerebral cortex is this going to be? It's going to be the pre-central gyrus. Okay, that's our motor region, our primary motor region. We're literally starting backwards, right? And we're going to go to the spinal cord. And if we want to be specific, we can say anterior horn of the spinal cord. We're also going to decussate, okay? That pathway is going to decussate, and we'll draw it out in a minute. And then the lower motor neuron is simply going to go from the anterior horn. It's going to pick up and go to a muscle. Okay, keep it real simple. So then let's draw this out real fast. Okay, we're still gonna go in opposite direction. We're gonna go to a muscle, so we'll draw a muscle out, that's our bicep. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, we're gonna start up here in the cerebral cortex. We're starting with the precentral gyrus, okay? And we're gonna go down, we're gonna decussate. This is gonna be referred to as our upper motor neuron, right? We're gonna go from the precentral gyrus all the way down to the spinal cord, and we're just gonna remember that that's in the anterior horn, okay? And I drew a little decussation in there the best I could. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the anterior horn all the way to a muscle. It's as simple as that, and that we said was our lower motor neuron. So it's one less step for our descending pathway. And that's why we can see that upper motor neurons are completely CNS, lower motor neurons are completely PNS. 
okay? That wraps up our sensory and motor pathway.